Hello, my name is Tim McKay and I'd like to welcome you to this series of training lessons on using TurboCAD to draw plans for radio control model airplanes. In the course of this CD, we will go from a clean sheet of paper and come up with a finished design of a um, RC model airplane. We'll use as a basis the Yard Ace. You can see the plans here. The Yard Ace is a 34-inch wingspan, three-channel electric flyer that was published in the September uh, 2008 uh, Quiet and Electric Flight uh, magazine. Some pictures of the Yard Ace are right here. You can see it's a high wing design, electric motor in the front, rudder and elevator for control. Uh, flies very nicely. What we'll do in the course of our lessons, we'll go from a completely clean sheet of paper and we'll make a variant of the Yard Ace that I'm going to call the Snapper. We'll take the general outlines of the Yard Ace, except we're going to take the high wing, make it a low wing. We're going to make the fuselage just a little bit wider. Uh, the Yard Ace is one and three quarters inches. For Snapper, we'll increase that to two inches so we can have the servo side by side. Add a little bit of length to the nose and tail. Uh, make the rudder and elevators just a little bit bigger and increase the wingspan from 34 to 39 inches for just a little bit better slow flight characteristics. And I'll take you step by step on how we do that so you can see how that's done. And of course, the complete plan of the Snapper is available on this CD uh, as well as on the website for further information. For further information on TurboCAD as well as other aspects of designing RC model airplanes, please take a look at the website uh, www.indoorflyingmodel.com. And if you go to TurboCAD, that is a, a select section where you can buy the TurboCAD program itself. Let me go ahead and close this. I've been using the TurboCAD program since about the year 2000 for drawing RC model airplane plans. TurboCAD is just a great computer-aided design program, uh, very intuitive, and once you get the hang of it, really quite easy to use. And what we'll do in the course of this training CD is go through just that aspects of TurboCAD that you need to know in order to start drawing plans for your uh, model airplanes. You'll find there's a great deal of depth and capability to TurboCAD. It's used for a variety of projects from home design to obviously model airplanes. And what we're going to do on these training lessons is focus on just those aspects of TurboCAD needed to draw uh, two-dimensional plans for radio control model airplanes. Let's take a quick look at the TurboCAD program itself. Uh, you'll see on the top are the standard menu bars and I'll describe what I'm doing off camera. For example, with a left click, you simply pull down the menu, the standard new, open, close, save, etc. that you have on uh, all your regular programs, edit, view, etc. When you go along to these pull down menus, you start to see things like format, tools, etc. that are unique to TurboCAD and what we're doing for the drafting environment. Continuing on around the program, on the right hand side we have palettes. Uh, palettes have various information, properties, uh, symbols, etc. that we use in the drawing environment. More information on the palettes as we go through the lesson, although we're not going to use these too much. And down in the lower le uh, left hand corner of TurboCAD you see some very uh, interesting aspects uh, for inspector bars, status bars, etc. that give you great insight as to the properties of what you're drawing, length, rotation angles. Again, all would become quite clear as we go through the drawing. And what we'd like to discuss right now are these floating toolbars. All the commands needed to use TurboCAD are in the pull-down menus. Uh, for example, if we want to open a new drawing, we can click Open, uh, excuse me, New right here, New from scratch, and here is a new drawing sheet right here. We'll close that. In TurboCAD, there's always two or three ways to do the same uh, procedure. As you saw here with the pull-down menu, we can open a new one. We can also, with the standard toolbar, if we click on this, if you hover it says new, we click on that, it's the exact same action with a clean drawing sheet right here. As you go through the training, you're going to find that using these floating toolbars, which are subsets of the various pull-down menus here, is a whole lot easier for what you need to do. To get the floating toolbars, we go to the options, toolbars and menu, and you see with the toolbars here, here is an entire list of all the available floating toolbars 
with the various tools logically uh, connected, uh, line, construction, etc., for what you need to do. The ones that I have checked here, it's about a third of the available floating toolbars, are the tools that you see over here. This is all you really need to do 97% of the drawing tasks within TurboCAD. So we'll go ahead and get rid of this and just take a look at what these various floating toolbars are. On the next lesson, lesson two, we'll go through what each one does. The standard toolbar is just the standard toolbar, things like open, uh, new rather, open, save, etc. You'll also notice on both the standard toolbar and the drawing tools toolbar, some of the icons have a little yellow triangle in the bottom right hand corner. What that means is a flyout menu of other uh, actions within that toolbar. Note that for the select, there's a flyout uh, series of menus. Uh, for example, in construction, if it's on the left but uh, mouse button, you hold it down, it flies out, etc. These flyout menus are also replicated right here on the construction. You can see that if we go here for the vertical construction, this is a vertical construction. It's the same thing as a vertical construction here. So you'll find that uh, it's a lot easier with the floating toolbars if you want to go, for example, with the horizontal construction, just click on it here rather than having to do the pullout menu. The third way to do it, as always, is to uh, for example, uh, go here to insert, construction, horizontal, that'll be the same thing. It's just a single click with a horizontal construction line here. Another aspect of these toolbars is that all of these floating toolbars that you see here can be docked, which means that it's very easy to put them uh, up towards the top of the program just to keep them in a uh, logical, neat way. To dock a, pro uh, a toolbar, we simply draw it up to the, uh, move it up to the top, and it just docks in place. We still have all aspect of the uh, flyout toolbars, and to undock it, uh, we just uh, grab it here, and it's right back here again. So again, uh, as we go through uh, the use of TurboCAD, we'll always keep the standard toolbar docked up to the top, the properties right underneath it, the drawing tools I make. Uh, vertical and I keep it on the side and the remaining specialized toolbars uh, I'll put up at the top and we'll see how we do that on lesson number two. Before we close on this lesson I just want to reemphasize that I'll narrate everything that you see on the screen right here and you'll see the mouse moving along. There's about five items that you can't see on the screen and that is uh, and I'll try to describe that is the left right click on the mouse button just what you've done all the time with a left and right click I will, uh, on occasion or a lot, use the escape, the ESC key for Windows users on the upper left hand side. I'll use the delete key a fair amount, I'll mention that. Uh, the shift key is used for sizing, just the standard shift key. Text obviously is typed on the keyboard. And the final thing is, if you look on the uh, bottom right of the program for your audio, do keep the audio on when you use TurboCAD. There's a lot of little dings and reminders that come up when you're doing something that TurboCAD considers a problem, it's a very useful reminder uh, to just uh, check certain things, and you'll see that as we go through. So again, uh, more information on um, TurboCAD is available right here at the website, uh, indoorflyingmodel.com TurboCAD, and I encourage you to uh, check that out at your leisure. So that concludes what we're doing now for um, uh, for lesson number one and look forward to seeing you on lesson number two.